Good morning, St. Francis. Good morning, people of God. It is Tuesday, the um, 16th day of the month of July, 2024. It is Tuesday of the 15th week of the year, the 15th week in ordinary time. Again, continues to be a scorcher here in North Carolina. Hopefully it's a little bit better where you happen to be. Um, we're supposed to be getting storms coming in later on uh, and it will break the heat, supposedly. It'll bring us down to the 80s, so which will be a welcome relief. The hum in the background is our um, grounds people. I think that they are, um, uh, doing some uh, feeding of the uh, plants in the grass and things like that. So um, so that's what's happening here. Quite quiet morning uh, still yet. It is, um, I forgot to say this yesterday, it is now less than, a, less than a month, less than a month until we begin again um, at TFS, uh, which is uh, kind of exciting, is that this summer has been moving along. It really isn't a very long break any longer, uh, but it is um, a break uh, that kind of creates um, uh, the, the sense of desire to come back again. So uh, that might not be for everybody, but, but, but it is, it would be nice to have uh, the, 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 uh, the noise and the, and the traffic and the, um, and, the, and the coming and going of our schools uh, once we begin again in less than a month. So um, today's readings, uh, again, uh, still in the prophet Isaiah. Okay, so here, um, it, again, it gets a little bit, it, a little complicated in the narrative of the history. Um, so Israel tries to attack uh, Judah. Again, the northern kingdom tries to attack the southern kingdom um, and is unsuccessful uh, because um, the, bear, the the fortress that is Jerusalem is just something that um, cannot e be easily penetrated, although it will eventually be when it falls to uh, the armies of Babylon. Uh, but uh, Israel is also not very well equipped to to begin a battle. And so, uh, and so, they, so they kind of, um, they don't succeed necessarily uh, but Isaiah again appears and to tell the leadership of the kingdom of Israel, the northern northern kingdom, to stop what they are doing um, because it is it, it, again it's not right and it's not going to help them. And it's not going to work. Um, and and God is not yet giving up. And again, God has never given up on, on Israel. But God is not yet um, forecasting full, you know, d destruction uh, for Israel, but th there is. And again, th it comes out of Isaiah that, that Israel will not stay, the kingdom of Israel will not stand uh, much longer because of its disobedience and its inability to follow uh, the law and to follow what it is that God, again, wants this people of Israel to be. It is, uh, it is, it is most telling that last line uh, that uh, Isaiah gives uh, to, to Ahaz, the king of Israel, um, is that if your faith is not firm, you will not stand firm. Um, and, and that, I guess, that, that, that's kind of the point of listening to this passage, because again, it's just battles in history and battles in history, battles in history, and there's nothing really redeeming uh, in, in much of it except a narrative of, of these terrible countries basically just not getting along um, uh, and, not, and, not, and not working out. Uh, but that last line that Isaiah, that God speaks through Isaiah, um, if your faith is not strong, you will not be strong. Um, and um, and that's something for us to consider always, you know, in our in our own lives. Um, um, our faith has to do something more than just being this, you know, cozy blanket or this, you know, fluffy pillow or this teddy bear, you know, to hold on to when things get uh, dark or it gets difficult or gets scary. Um, our faith has to be something that enables us to stand firm. But it only stands firm the more that we trust, you know, what our faith says it can do, what God speaks to us through our faith, telling us what we can become um, and what we can uh, accomplish and what is possible for us uh, in, in, in the destiny that lies before us. Uh, that only comes, you know, again, when we truly put strength into our faith. Um, it, is, it is not just a security blanket. It is something that has to be uh, the center of what we are and who we are as human beings, the be all and end all of our lives. Um, if it isn't, uh, yeah, then we fell, that we fall, um, or we fall back onto things that do not deliver as they say they can, that will not offer, you know, the protection and the promises they say they can. Uh, faith has to be something, you know, that needs um, to have all of our attention. And at many times that faith that we possess will run counter to everything that perhaps logic or reason may suggest is the way to go, or even our society and culture may suggest is the way to go. That is the whole point of having faith is to think and to act differently. People who believe act differently. Um, and the question is always, you know, again, are we truly people of belief by the different way in which we act than the rest of our culture and our society around us? Um, uh, Jesus, uh, again, is preparing to depart the Galilee region. Um, and again, just a couple of other slams you know, to people and, and to the nations, you know, of the towns around uh, around the Sea of Galilee. And again, the, the whole idea, the woes to Chorazin, which was, you know, one of the towns on, on the Sea of Galilee. If you go to uh, the Holy Land, you can see, you know, it's, it's remnants and things like that. But, but the whole idea being, you know, if 
uh, if Jesus had gone to non-Jews, or even if Jesus um, had been talking to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, and again, how terrible they were, uh, that they would have believed um, more so than the people whom Jesus is with now. Um, and they would have been, their lives would have been changed, lives would have been transformed. Um, and, and, and the message, you know, can be given to them in better ways than it can be given, you know, to, uh, to, 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 to you, to, to my own people, is what Jesus is saying. Um, and, that's, and that's the whole thing. You know, again, when we hear this good news, again, what does it do to our lives? Does it transform our lives? Or does it basically just keep us in a status quo that we have created that keeps us comfortable? Do we only let God act, you know, in ways uh, it, 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 within the boundaries that we have set up for God to act because we think that this is the only way, the only way or the best way for God to act. Again, that is, it's, it's not good. It's, 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 it's almost blasphemy for us to kind of do that kind of thing. But so many times, again, we have created God in our image rather than making sure that we are reminded that we are created in God's image. Um, and the more that we try to create God in our own image, the more that we try to keep God within the bounds that we feel comfortable with, the more impossible it is for God to act um, and the more woes may be given to us. Um, something to think about, again, as we move forward, you know, again, in, 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 our, in our summer and in our lives as believers, um, our God is something that is more than what we see, more than we can understand, more than we can embrace. But our God is nearer to us than we are to ourselves and wants us to listen to the possibilities and the wonder that God has in store for us. A blessed day, St. Francis and people of God. May the Lord give you his peace.